I'm TJ Lang. I'm a guard. It's Tuesday with TJ, featuring Detroit offensive guard TJ Lang. This is home for us, so let's start competing for championships. You know, that's all I've known, and it's really, it's really going to be special to be a part of it. Brought to you by Bill Brown Ford in Livonia, serving Metro Detroit for over 75 years on 97.1 The Ticket. All right, 97 1, the death march continues. Tuesdays with TJ. This is sure to be electric. Now, TJ, welcome. Thank you. I will say, Sully won't give you credit for it. I put eight to five odds on you just calling in and going, oh, I got to do treatment. I never thought you'd be here this week after you guys got jail sexed on Sunday. Uh, I considered kind of running the car out, off the road on the way in. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh. Just yeah, you know, I mean, not going, you know, going about twenty, you know, a, a, a slow roll, like just Den- a slow like, roll, like Denard Robinson just in, a flat into the tire. I mean, into I don't the pool wanna... or whatever it was in Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't want to injure myself. Just you know, flat tire. But All right, so I mean, I will ask you a series of questions that I don't really know what you're willing to answer, but away we go. Uh, why are you guys in a coma again in the first half? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> wish I had an answer for you. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not funny, but it's something that, you know, it's been really bad for us, you know, not going to lie. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we, we tried to uh, tried to switch some things up this week, and, um, you know, I thought practice went well. I thought everything that, that we changed, you know, kind of get out, get off to a better start, I thought that was going to be a, a good a good changeup for us. And for whatever reason, uh, you know, started off uh, uh, really bad again this past game, so – um, I'm not sure what it is, you know, and I think, uh, you know, the coaches, obviously they feel like they play a big part of that, but to me, you know, the players got to go out there. We got to be ready to go from the first snap. We got to make sure that it's, you know, we're, we're making the thing go, whether it's, you know, a guy making a, a big hit to start off the first series, you know, making a big run for seven, eight yards, kind of get that, kind of get the energy on the field, energy on the sideline, get going up a little bit, you know, and it's just something that, you know, we've obviously done a very poor job of. So let me ask you this. All right. Now, this has been the theme this week, and I don't know how much I subscribe to it. It just seemingly, why not just give up running the football early? Why not just come out, two-minute drill, Stafford seems more comfortable, you've played in up-tempo offenses. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing you haven't tried. I mean, is that even viable, or is that just fan speak here, where you're going to be like, Michael, that's stupid? I think you look at every avenue uh, to you know what you can possibly change up and possibly do different uh, going into games. I think this past game, without giving too much, we kind of had a plan to get started fast. But you know, the first series of the game, we started on our own two yard line. It's kind of hard to uh, you know kind of get rolling there. We had to run it, kind of get a little bit of breathing room, and uh, you know that's just the way the game happened to start for us uh, offensively. So. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, obviously the coaches put together the game plans, the players, we got to go execute, but you know, you look at every single, every single possibility, you know, do we go out, do we start, you know, do we huddle up? Do we take our time? Uh, do we go out there just lightning tempo, go fast? I think that's, that's something that we, we, we've obviously got to look at, you know, and, and make changes if they're necessary. Uh, two, four, eight, five, three, nine, 97, 97. If you want to dial in TJ Lang with us stunned, he has arrived this week. Uh, well, here's one you can't answer. What's wrong with Stafford's hand? <laughs> I think coach addressed that. Ah, oh, come on. Check the report. Damn it. Sully. Yeah. I mean, do you want to go to the questions from the people already? Well, I mean, listen, we got, we got, we got a lot to cover. I want TJ's opinion questions. about last night, but I don't want to divert from the, the disaster of Sunday quite yet. We have the rest of the hour for that. Go oh, ahead. thank you. Well, TJ, what do you want me to do? If I don't ask you about Sunday, I look like a jerk. I mean, I know you're not going to answer certain things. What do you want me to do? You guys got you guys got you guys got executed on Sunday. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously tough to talk about. You know, it's, how do you uh, how do you go here? I, let me ask this this way: mm-hmm. You sit back, you go, you watch the film after the Cleveland game. You go, wow, we no showed in the first half. Yeah. Then it happens again in Chicago. Then it happens again in Minnesota. Then it happens again last week. Now, look, you've changed practice times. You've changed instead of deferring and taking the ball. I mean, but but like the how the hell in that locker room do you look at guys? And nobody does it. Does anyone say anything, or does everyone just sit around and look as confused as your coach? No, we do. I mean, we do. We have. I think we have excellent leaders on our team, and I think that that that's the frustrating part because 
when things are going bad, it's not easy to put a finger on one thing and say, that's, that's what we got to fix. And there's some, you know, recipe that this is what we got to do different. I mean, I've been a part, you know, I've been, I've played a lot of football games and I've been part of teams that, you know, get, go out and pregame or just super intense. The energy's there. I mean, everything's great. Everything's popping and you go out and you start flat. And I've been a part of games where you go out there and it feels kind of dead in pregame. It feels kind of dead in the locker room. You feel like you've got a lack of energy and you go out there and, and you start on fire. And, and I don't know why that is. You know, I don't know. I don't know what, what the reasoning for that is. It's just it's to me, it's, it's not about going out in pregame and it's not about guys screaming and yelling. It's about everybody taking individual responsibility that, you know what, I'm going to go out in these first whatever. If we've got to start fast, these first three or four plays, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability and I'm going to get going. I think that is the mindset, but we're obviously slipping somewhere. And, and I think that it's not a question of, you know, here we go again. Here we go. The doubt's creeping in again. Here we go. Another slow start. It's just we got to we got to nip it in the bud early and we got to make sure that individually guys are you know everybody's taking responsibility go out and get started started fast and it's been something that you know hey it's I don't think that we after the Cleveland game we're like man you know that's the type of football we want to play we knew it was a problem the way we started slow we knew it was a problem against Chicago obviously it was a problem against Minnesota and, and we've tried to address that things but it's still not showing up and we just got to take it upon ourselves as players and especially myself being a veteran guy on the team to kind of kind of helping everybody else out to get guys rolling man it's just uh it's <laughs> There's nothing that you can do to say this is how we're going to do it. It's just got to happen. It's got to happen naturally, and guys have to understand, and especially now where we are at the point of the season, the urgency is there. I mean, it's basically playoff football for us here on out. Uh, so you went – I mean, you were banged up. You got the foot go. You, you got a million things wrong with you. But the bottom line is you – it looked like you got stepped on. When Stanford scrambled, did he step on your foot, and then that's what drove you out of the game? Uh, no, I think you know I had something I was dealing with from the uh, Thanksgiving Day game. I missed a couple practices last week, and uh, you know just popped up again on me on Sunday. Got rolled up on a couple times, uh, and it was you know I, obviously I think it was pretty obvious that uh, you know I was limping around out there a little bit. But you, you were know, on a wooden me, peg. I mean, yeah, I mean, but it, for me, it's it's the 12th game of the year. Everybody's hurt. Nobody's out there battling, going a hundred percent. I mean, everybody's got something that they're dealing with. And to me that, you know, I'm no different. I got to play through some things. If I'm, if I'm able to go out there and still feel like I can get the job done, I'm going to do it. And there's times where this season where I, I obviously haven't been there when I went through the back uh, deal in, in New Orleans and went through the concussion against uh, Cleveland, but it's, this is grind time, man. You, you only got so many games left in the season. You got to do whatever you got to do to, help the team out and make sure you're you're available and you're going out there and you're giving it your all. So that was that was something that I just it wasn't an option for me to you know think about coming out of the game at that point. I, mean, I, had, how to, much, I had to miss a series when I had to go in and get retaped and try to yeah, fix no, some things with my shoe but Well, how much of a role did it play like the third and one is what yeah, I mean again you that, that was brutal on my part, yeah. I didn't look great. No. I just was the injury a part of that or did you just flub? No, the, I mean Watching the film, I was frustrated because I just wasn't moving the way I usually do, and I think a large part of that was due to, you know, I, I was struggling to push off, uh, you know, with the, with what I was battling with with my foot. But, um, yeah, there was something I think, you know, I've always battled it. You know, when you get to fourth and one, when you get to third and one, when you get on the goal line, I mean, the natural instinct is you want to fire off and you want to lay a lick on a guy. And, and on that particular case, on that third and one, I went to just go fire off and just put my full body weight into the D tackle. He kind of took a step out, and I basically whiffed. <laughs> yeah. So that's something I just got to, you know, and it's been, it's no excuse on my part. I mean, it's my ninth year. I know how things work, but sometimes you get that adrenaline going. You just want to go out there. You want to fly around, lay a pop on a dude, and he made a move. And, uh, you know, I just got tripped up there and fell down. So obviously a big part of that game, too, which was, uh, even you know, the most disappointing thing. Well, like I, and I know you guys have had seven line combos on the year, which is never good. But like, what is the reason? Like you and Rick, when you signed, mm -hmm. it, it was a big deal. It right. really was, and there was talk before the season. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought this was before I knew Taylor Decker had the the shoulder problem. I go, you know, they got a shot to be one of the better offensive lines in the NFC. Mm -hmm. What is it where you and Rick haven't been able to have that impact and make that right side a real go-to? It's just, now I know Rick, obviously, I mean, he may be donezo, the, the way that looked on Sunday. You've both been banged up, but what is the reason? Is this a scheme? Is it a, a fit thing? No. Is it you two just haven't played great ball? I mean, what what is it? Uh, I think it just comes down to consistency, really. I think uh, when you play on the line, your your mistakes tend to be magnified. 
uh, you know, a lot, especially with the mistakes that I've had uh, personally, where I've had a couple penalties at really tough times of the game. And then I've had the, obviously the third and one this past game. I mean, that's, you know, that's a huge play in that ball game. That gets magnified. If that happens on a first and 10, people might not be talking about it because you can recover. What happens on third and one, you don't have a chance to recover from that. So I think it's just been the consistency part. I think, you know, Rick's for the most part, has, has had a solid season. I mean, he's he's just in the, he's in the same boat I am. You know, I think we both, for the most part, you know, been doing all right. But there's just comes a couple key plays in every game that you kind of you really wish you could have back, and that's normal. Holy for me, number seventy six offense. I think the timing of it's kind of been. <laughs> Kind of been brutal for me. Thanks, Sully. I mean, my God. I'm surprised we made it this long into the show, actually, before that. Uh, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to really up. have to look into this system. Is something wrong? It keeps malfunctioning. Mm, Just mm-hmm. the automation on it must be off. To I want to tell you. I Maybe wanna... you should switch spots with David. He probably doesn't have a. You know, you said, that, you said that last that. week, too. Maybe I'll look into that. <laughs> I'll check the report and look into that. I want to ask you about last night's game. I don't know yeah. if, if did you hear any of my take the segment before? Uh, or you already turned off the radio. No, I didn't. Okay. Let me let me refresh you in the commercial break, and then mm-hmm. I want to get your take from last night, and then certainly we'll get the people involved. If you've got something for TJ, uh, look, this is me saying it, not him. I don't want him in trouble, but uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about with this team. They're kind of dead as a doorknob. So if you got something football, that's great. If you got something non-football, I don't care. We try to have a good time with it. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. You really want to treat TJ? Here's Sully. Go ahead. Tell him about the. Tell him about, oh, Sully's gonna. Oh man. Hey, TJ, you got to be in the market for this in the off season. He's about to sell you exercise. <laughs> well, guys, here's the thing. 